So the age of the Mahdi is an age of intense struggle. The Muslims will come and the other side, its opposition will come to face it. And the opposition is so huge. 80 banners, 80 different flags. And each flag will be 14,000 men. He says this whole batch will fight. He goes, La tara He called it Al Malhamatul Kubra. The Prophet called it Al Malhamatul Kubra. And a lot of the scholars say Al Mahdi will be leading this. Al Malhamatul Kubra. The gigantic war, the gigantic combat. You will see the flying object or the birds or whatever is flying on the outskirts of this war. It's got nothing to do with the war. It will drop from the sky. It will drop. And if some scholars look at it and you can probably analyze it as being atomical warfare. Gases that make birds and objects in the sky fall. This is the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When the two sides meet and the Muslims see this, a third of them will run away. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Allah will never accept their repentance ever. Because running away reduces and destroys the morale of everyone standing. So then the campaign starts and the battle is hot in its intense. And a third of the Muslims will die. And a third will be victorious. Just a third will be victorious and they will be there on the battlefield collecting the remnants and the booty of war. And the hadith says from one tribe, 99 have died and one person is left. If a family had a hundred members in it, for example, there'll only be one of them alive. The rest are all dead. He says, He goes, on that day, Muslims will not rejoice over any booty because what mirath is there going to be he said what inheritance can be given out the families are all dead the majority of people are dead that's how fierce it is he was saying like if a family had a hundred one of them will remain living so why will he be happy and what kind of inheritance is going to look forward to giving so the whole world has gone out of our hearts that's what it means there's no more clinging to the dunya at all the only thing you look for is to the hereafter you want to meet your family in the hereafter that's all it really is and it's unfortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to take out forcefully this world from our hearts. The love of this world, the, yani, the materialism, as it has crept into our hearts today, a lot of the people. So you would think after such a calamity, after such a colossal engagement, or what is referred to in the books that preceded us as Armageddon, as they have just become victorious and are collecting the things of the battlefield, a voice will come out to them that all Muslims, the Dajjal has come in your lands. Go back to your family and your homes quickly for a Dajjal has appeared. A Dajjal, commonly known as Antichrist in the Bible. And the first of the Alamatul Kubra, the first of the major signs is the advent of the Dajjal or the Antichrist. So the Imam Al-Mahdi will send 10 people 10 riders to go and investigate and scout, see if the news is correct. And the Rasul says, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi. I know their names and I know the names of their fathers and I know the color of their horses. They will be the best riders of the day. So they will go and see the calamity has come. The Dajjal has come. Who is this Dajjal? The first of the big signs of Qiyamah. And understand, when the signs, the major signs are unleashed, they will follow each other like beads on a necklace.